Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. And by Merrill. Let's get outside. Our first polar bear sighting this year. There he is, yes, booting along. <laughs> Here we are in Kikatajwak at the annual uh, polar bear chase. The first few polar bears showing up in town, and we're in with the Arnold Cook family pickup truck uh, racing down to seat number two or the number three. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys running for? <laughs> if I had polar bears in my backyard, I'd be running out to see them too. <laughs> Look at the funny mommy. Here we go, some empty canvases that hopefully you can fill up before we go. Does my hat go with it still? Oh, yeah. yeah. Me and zippers don't get along too well for some reason. Oh, this is embarrassing. Billy's helping me do my zipper. <laughs> well, what can I say? Oh, look at that. He's a pro, that's why, okay? That's why they pay him the big bucks. Gavis? Hi, puppy. Go for a ride with us, eh? How big does it have to be before you can call it an iceberg? Is that one over there? Is that one? No. Well, you can tell something that's built up from the... From the uh from the storm like in the winter time. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's not an iceberg. Yeah, but it's big. So maybe that, it could be almost like as big as an iceberg, but we won't call it an iceberg. So that's not an iceberg over there. Uh Some icebergs, amazing, especially when you look at the color and the shadow side. They're just wow, well, you can get on top of that, but it's a risk at the same time, right? Well, I got to see an iceberg up close and personal. But we're gonna keep right on going into the fjord and set up camp and uh, be ready for the morning when I hope to. Uh, Go start a painting of one of these around here. There used to be a lot more icebergs in, in every area, but I think within the last 15 years we start to see a bit of a decline. They're freezing up later, and 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 the ice is leaving much earlier than normal. I think somebody knows we're going camping. again. Ah, well, it's great coming out with the guide, I tell you. It's, uh, especially in this country, it's such a new land for me that it's a real level of comfort, but you start to wonder, uh, I think they've been here before, because if you look at Billy's rocks, He's got all the big ones, and all I got is these little ones. Maybe there's something he knows that I don't. This is much better. It's not as thin as that one, yeah. and it's much better in the wind. Which one do uh, the polar bears like to jump on more? This you know, one. And that's where I'm sleeping tonight, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always want to get one for winter camping where you can get a little wood stove in it too, and yeah. that wouldn't help up here too much, I guess, would it? Yeah, my them? wife made this one. It's, oh, really? Yeah, she made it. Kettle, eh? Now, Martin, why didn't we backpack a kettle like that into Iwetuk, eh? We could have been having a wonderful pot of tea every night. Yeah, we certainly had lots of room. Beautiful. That looks great. This is good stuff. Right and butter, or? You sure? Yes, we got some butter. No, I don't. <laughs> well, I'll just take a little piece of fat here off the back of this fish because we have no butter with us and maybe that'll help keep it from sticking a little. Man, it smells good though. Even without any butter or salt and pepper or anything on it, it smells delicious. Cooking up Arctic Char just outside of Kikataj Walk on the edge of the Arctic Ocean. 
big icebergs in the background. What more could you ask for? I can eat it raw. Yeah. I can eat it half cooked. No, well, you might get a bit of all of it the way I'm cooking it. So. <laughs> and then Elia. Yeah. Is it cooked enough? Good.